This is a question that comes up now and again, actually. Um, when, a, when a freelancer um, raises an invoice and charges their agency for, say, 100 hours in a month at £40 an hour, they're charged £4,000 plus VAT, because almost certainly that registered, so that's 4800 Some freelancers have an agreement with an agency or an end client that they can recharge some expenses as well. So if, say, there's a £100 uh, travel expenses, they can, they might put that on the same invoice and char and they should charge VAT on the travel expenses because if you, you have to look at the overall service, if there's VAT on the overall service you charge VAT on the hours and the expenses. If it's a zero rated supply you don't charge VAT on anything but you can't have it where you charge VAT on the hours and not on the expenses. Unfortunately some agencies don't get that and we do have it, it comes about once a year probably where uh, freelancers say my agency won't pay you the VAT on the expenses and if that's the case then it means they're losing out um, they've lost the, you know they've effectively lost 20 percent of their expenses um, so uh, basically we then have to explain to the agency what the law is well and that's it except there is one thing I should say um, when I say you charge VAT on your expenses you have to net the expenses down first. So if you, in, if you are charging for a hotel bill that's £100 plus VAT equals 120 you charge £100 plus VAT. You don't charge the VAT again on the 120 So that would be a mistake. Um, but as long as you're charging the VAT on the £100, that's fine. If you incur a train fare, you don't pay the VAT on it, but say the train fare is 50 quid you have to, re and you're recharging it, you have to charge the VAT on the 50 quid, which makes 60. And in fact, it's that area where, H where the agencies um, fall down. They think because you've not, got, you've not paid VAT, they shouldn't pay VAT. And that's wrong. Um, and that's it, really.